optimism is a strategy for making a better future. Because unless you believe that the future can be better, you are unlikely to step up and take responsibility for making it so. Amen. Do you hear me? Let me say it again. This is what we see in this text here. Optimism is a strategy for making a better future. Because unless you believe that the future can be better, you are unlikely to step up and take responsibility for making it. Ziggler says, your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude or how far you'll go. Listen, listen. Now this applies to the text. Your attitude, not your aptitude. Let's, let's, let's just kind of focus it on aptitude. Aptitude means what? Not that's what you know. Well, it could be what you know. Oh, thank you. That's the word. Your ability. You see, Caleb and Joshua did not look at their ability alone. They knew that God was with them. They knew that God would be the one that would take them into the land. So their attitude was one was in the right place. And because their attitude was in the right place, they knew that they can go wherever they wanted to go or where God was taking them. Your attitude, not your not your aptitude. You can be the best, you can be the smartest person out there. You can have the nasty attitude. God does not look at our ability. Matter of fact, can I say it this way? He don't need your ability. <laughs> God, God don't say, well, I need somebody who's strong. I need somebody who's tall. Let's take Saul. <laughs> First king of Israel, yeah. they wanted the king, so he found somebody who looked stunning. You know what's that? Uh, uh, what's that show? Uh, that, the show y'all like to watch, the old kid show, Belle and uh, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, yeah. Nobody liked that garçon, you know that kind of stuff right there. You know, stuffy in this church and feel fit like garçon, strapping. That's what they wanted. Right. But God don't need the strapping young, good-looking guy to, to to do something. He he doesn't need that. So your aptitude is not coming to play when God's decided that He wants to do something through you. Okay.